What's up, everybody? My name is Matt Yoakum, and welcome to Shortcut Saturdays. And the special guest on today's show is Theo. Today's sort of shortcuts is going to be all about moving clips around your timeline efficiently using Snap2 workflows. And the shortcut for these is going to be to make an edit selection and then control click on your clip to snap the head of it to your selection or to hit control command and click your clip to snap the tail of it to your selection. Let's see how this works. Okay, so I use these sets of shortcuts all the time. Basically what you can do is you can make a selection on your track and then let's say I wanted to move the head of this clip to exactly where I selected. I can control click it and it will snap to. Now, something to note, if you're using the smart tool, you wanna to make sure that you're using the grabber function, or if you're just using the individual tools, you'll wanna to make sure that you're using the grabber tool. So I make my selection and then control click, and it will snap the head of that clip to the selection. I can do the same thing if I wanna snap the tail of my clip to this selection, I just add the command modifier. So now it's control command click, and it will snap the tail of that clip. Now there's a great modifier that you can add here for a bonus function, and that is to copy your clip to the edit selection by adding the option modifier. So if I make a selection and I control option click, it will copy and snap the head of the copied clip to my selection. And I can do the same with control command by adding the option modifier. So now it's claw click, and that will snap the tail to the edit selection. There's kind of a cool feature in this where normally command D is your duplicate function, but I can also claw click to duplicate backwards because the head of the clip that I'm selecting is my edit insertion. And by snapping and copying the tail, it's going to duplicate backwards for me. See that? Now be sure to add it to your muscle memory. 